Felicia Benjamin. Let's talk about family and fish on tonight. I my missus is sitting around the same thing. At this time, that's all that I hear from all the friends. But God, we thank you right now for letting us all again gather here on tonight. Thank you for letting us lie down and let us wake up this morning. We thank you for all the blessings of the Lord that makes us rich and there's no sign. In Jesus' name, amen. Some of my text on tonight. Family, be of good courage. And uh, thank God again for Bishop Benjamin, the word brought forth on tonight. Thank God. All of us on tonight, and Mr. Hickson, and all of the children. Thank you. Thank God so much for you. Um, first Timothy 5 and 8. If anyone fails to provide for his relatives, and especially for or those of his own family, he even has disowned the earth by failing to accompany it with fruits. Which it says a little different. This is coming from Amplified, Amplified. but the Amplified is, I mean, King James says, if anyone fails to uh, provide for the family, if there's a care for the family, basically, the man the worst thing for them. It's words which is an unbeliever who performs his obligation in it in these matters, so he, he, you, worse than someone ever having even known about the Lord. A person that doesn't know anything about God, that didn't believe in God, they don't know anything about God, whatever, that's, they got a good excuse, but we didn't know about the Lord, then we expected to do what the Word says, because it says that if you fail to provide for your relative, I, I just was standing on that day, we went further down, if a mother is a woman, a, a woman is that this over a certain age has been married and not married now, and she's having some problem problems, um, uh, some type of uh, financial problem problems. The family is expected to step in, not the church, but the family, and care for them, their mother. As we're talking about mothers, we're talking about fathers. But when I was reading back, and then it's talking about that if she's a young woman, young women look to be. Um, uh, always looking to get married again, so it's not so it's not so for young women. You let them go ahead and get married again because we think about uh, money. Now this, by what I was reading it, that's that's exactly what it was saying. So, but uh, the women that's over certain age, the godly women, the godly women point that out. It's over certain age, and then when it, it, upon the financial stress and the need money to pay, do whatever it is. The family is supposed to take, step in and take care of that, their mother. And that's what it was saying. But I read enough from there, and I was just, I picked the scripture I was talking about, I wanted to talk about, but then I read a little bit more because it was so interesting. So it says, um, we're talking about family tonight and, um, and courage. Again, my text is family, be of good courage. Um, I was going to read a few of them, not all of them. In Joshua 24, and I, and I began in second verse, Message Bible. Let's break it down a little bit more. We can understand more plain words. This is told from the Message Bible. This is what God, this is what God, the God of Israel says. A long time ago, your ancestors, Terah and his sons, Abraham and Nahum, lived up to the east of the river Euphrates. They worshiped other gods. I took your ancestor Abraham from the far side of the river. I led him all over the land of Canaan and multiplied his descendants to talk with God did. So I gave him Isaac. Then I gave Isaac Jacob and Esau. I let Esau have the mountains of Seir at home, but Jacob and his sons ended up in Egypt. I sent Moses and Aaron. I hit I hit Egypt hard with plagues and then led you out of there. I brought your ancestors out of Egypt. You came to the sea, the Egyptians in hot pursuit with chariots and cavalry to the very edge of the Red Sea. Then they cried out for help to God. He put a cloud between you and the Egyptians and then let the sea loose on them. It drowned them. Okay, what we're talking about here, uh, Josh was addressing the people about what God gave him, get, did for them. And he was addressing the chief elders and the judges and the officers. 
He just called them all together. So uh, all these tribes, uh, Mason Bible said, of Israel together, a, a place called Shechem. And he began to address all of these, these things that their Father God did for them. And uh, then he says, then Balak, son of Zip, Zippor, made his appearance. He was the king of Moab. He got ready to fight Israel by sending for Balaam, son of Peter, Begor, to come and curse you. But I wouldn't listen. I wouldn't listen to. But I wouldn't listen to sending for Balaam, son of Beor, to come and curse you. But I, his, I, but I, excuse me. But I wouldn't listen to Balaam. He ended up blessing you over and over. I saved. I saved you from him. So God was blessing people from uh, from them being cursed. Uh, the enemies had sent Balaam to curse. And I remember to curse them. And I remember it says, you can't curse what God has blessed. So, so people, people they uh, do whatever they want to do. God will allow them to do it. This show me it won't, won't work up against my people. If, you, if you're God's people, men and women of God, God's not going to let any of that stuff work. So then you, they say, so then, no, then, you then crossed the Jordan and came to Jericho. The Jericho leaders ganged up on you, as well as Amorites, Perizzites, Canaanites, Hittites, Jerusites, Jerusites, Hivites, and Jebusites. But I turned them over to you. I sent the hornet ahead of you. It drove out the two Amorite kings. Did your work for you? This what uh. Just would let them know. God you did the work for you. You didn't have to do a thing. Not much as raise a finger. This was this way reason message that some uh, scriptures I read read I will read them in the message because it, it just come out so plain. And say, um then say I handed you a land for which you did not work, towns you did not build, and here you are now living in them and eating from vineyards and olive groves you did not plant. So now fear God, worship him in total commitment. Get rid of the God, God your ancestors worshiped on the far side of the far side of the river, the Euphrates. And in Egypt, you worship God. If you said this uh, your Bible says, if you said if if it's seem evil to you worship the Lord. This is 15 verse, 15 verse, 24, 15 of Joshua. I'm sorry. I should be not calling these verses to you. I'm right now in the 24th chapter of Joshua. 24th chapter and 15 verse. And your Bible will say if, if it seems evil to you. So better, and here it says if you said this a bad thing for you to worship God, then choose a God you'd rather serve. It says choose you this day in other words. So what we're saying now Joshua was reminding the people what all God did for y'all. We're not really seeing even it's such a bad thing when we worship God. You know, if we got all of a sudden you know, we got to switch and forgot now what God did for you. You don't mind here worship other gods today. But, but do it today. Make your mind. Choose one of the gods. Your successful worship from the country beyond the river or one of the gods on the Amorites on whose land you are now living. And, but as for me and my family, mm-hmm. we'll, we will worship the, the Lord, mm-hmm. worship God. So, and when I was looking at the thing back, we got that, we, we have the scripture on that door. Mm-hmm. And when I'm thinking back, I just hear Spirit of Satan, the Lord, telling me read, to read what it leads up to that. Because so many times, I, the person will pick out a scripture, but then he'll, he'll, he'll tell us to read what leads up to that. Mm-hmm. So that's what I want you to do. So Joshua was letting all the people know, all these tribes know, reminding them what God did. Look at what I died, like our God did for us. Mm-hmm. What all he did for y'all. But now you say, say, but now you find it so hard and such a bad thing now to worship him. Out uh, of all these good things he did. Fought your enemies and you have lived with fam. Fought them, fought them all off. And, and it, you won. You won because God won. He won it for you. And so, that's, that that lets us know no weapon that's formed against us shall prosper. Amen. In every tongue, as, as they have said, 17, in every tongue that rises up against us, 